Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good evening I bid to all the examiners. Uh, my name is Nurhanis Nada binti Mamat Nizamuddin and I am under supervision of Dr. Nurul Ashikin binti Zulkifli. So today I'm going to talk about one of my final year project which is entitled The Impact of Carrot Puree and Applesauce as a Fat Repressor on Psychochemical Nutritional Properties and Organolytic Characteristics of Cookies. So before we go further with uh, the explanation, so let's have a brief look at the presentation outline. So uh, it will be consisted of chapter 1, chapter 3 and chapter 4. Okay, now let's start with the introduction first, which is in the chapter 1. Okay, why do I choose cookies as my main subject for my research? This is because cookies has become popular among youngsters and elderly because cookies are cheap, convenient and have a long period of chef life. Okay, back a decade ago, people started to show interest in having a ready-to-eat food which are low in calories and nutritious. So in order to achieve such goals, there will be consequences on the food's texture, mouthfeel, flavor and appearance during its processing. Hence, the idea of replacing fat ingredients in cookies has rose upon the seed issues. The butter in the cookies will be replaced with carrot puree and applesauce. Okay, next one is types of cookies. Cookies can be divided into two types uh, according to its dough characteristic and methods of preparation. And for dough characteristic, uh, there are two uh, which are soft dough and hard dough. Meanwhile, the methods of preparation, they are molded, drop, presses, refrigerated, and bar or rolled. Okay, the next is problem statements. Malaysian love to eat snack foods during their leisure time, which is a high in content of a fat. This will eventually increase their calories intake in their daily life. Without them uh, realizing, it becomes the main reason of obesity. And the fact that 80% of Malaysian lacks of eating vegetables and fruits are quiet or some. Uh, because minerals are really important in the human body to keep functioning healthily. The okay, next is significant studies. In order to lowering the fat content in cookies, butter will be replaced with uh, applesauce and curry puree. Apparently, fat in cookies is hydrophobic in characteristic, which it will envelop the particles of the flour and avoid water absorption, hence preventing the development of gluten network. High water content in dough will increase the gluten network development, which will uh, result to lessen the dough elasticity. High amount of water in dough will result to hard biscuit. The cookies made with butter will result in tender and velvet like crumbs. Meanwhile, the applesauce and carrot puree is hard in pectin. Pectin is a general agent that is polysaccharide and hydro hydrocolloids that limits the gluten development as the sugar will compete with the gluten to absorb water. Thus, uh, less water will reach the flour and less gluten will form by the dough. The cookies supplemented with the carrot puree and applesauce will indirectly increase the vegetables and food intakes in one's diet. Okay, these are the objectives uh, of my research. First, uh, to determine the psychochemical properties of cookies supplemented with carrot puree and applesauce as fat replacer. Second, to determine the nutritional properties and organolytic characteristics of cookies supplemented with carrot puree and applesauce as fat replacer. Okay, now let's proceed to the chapter 3 which is the materials and method. This uh, will be the materials and or ingredients that I'll be using in my research. Okay, the next one is uh, the formulations. So in the formulation, I'll be using five different types of sample which see as control. And for the control, 100% of butter or 227 gram of butter will be used. Uh, Y1 uh, will be cookie sample supplemented with 50% of carrot puree or 90 ml of carrot puree and 50% of butter or 113.5 gram of butter. Y2 will be cookies supplemented with 100% of uh, carrot puree or 100 ml of carrot puree without butter. Next is Y3 will be cookie sample supplemented with 50% of applesauce or 90 ml of applesauce and 50% of butter or 113.5 gram of butter. Lastly, Y4 will be cookies supplemented with 100% of applesauce or 180 ml of applesauce without butter. Okay, next is the methods of making a carrot puree. Carrots will be boiled in water for about 10 minutes and then uh, mash it until it becomes puree and have a texture like a paste. And then the carrot puree will be kept in a tight jar after being cooled. So to proceed to the next step. Okay, next is the methods of making cookies. Okay, first in a bowl, flour, baking soda and salt will be added. 
and then uh, the second step apple sauce vanilla extract sugar and butter will be mixed in a mixer at speed 8 until it becomes creamy and then uh, by using mixer we add egg at speed 4 um, and mix un uh, for about 30 seconds and then uh, mix all the ingredients in step 1, 2 and 3 together at speed 4 for about 1 minute and gradually uh, chocolate chips will be added into the mixer and then scoop out uh, for about 25 milligram of dough and place it under and place it on the baking sheet and then bake uh, the dough at 190 degrees temperature for about 10 minutes Okay, the next one is the experimental design for the uh, psychochemical analysis, proximate analysis, and sensory evaluation. As for the psychochemical, it will be including the diameter, speed ratio, thickness, weight of the cookies, and analysis of the color. And then the proximate analysis will be included and will be including the analysis of carbohydrate, analysis of fat by using salt method, analysis of protein by using the gel dal method, analysis of ash uh, by using the dry action method, analysis of moisture content that will be using the drying upper method and sensory evaluation uh, will be uh, using the hedonic test. Uh, regarding to the hedonic test, 5 samples of cookies Y1, Y2, Y3 and Y4 uh, with the control will be served to 30 panelists of UNISA students and staff that will be selected randomly. The sensory evaluation will be conducted to determine the acceptance levels of consumer. The samples will be run by using several point scale hedonic tests to determine the acceptance of consumer towards product sample which will be involving the taste, aroma, flavor, appearance, color, texture and overall acceptability. Panelists need to evaluate the coded sample for each attribute in specific form uh, that will be provided uh, based on their degree of liking. Okay, the next slide is the expected outcomes. Okay, first, objectives of the research will be achieved at the psychochemical properties, proximate analysis, and sensory evaluation uh, is determined. Next, the cookies supplemented with the carrot puree and applesauce will be different from the cookies made with 100% of butter from its physical to chemical characteristic. Okay, last but not least, half replacement of butter with fat replacer is expected to be the most accepted by the consumer. Okay, the next one is for the gun chart. My research was started on March 2021 and it's expected to end at the end of the June 2022. That's all for me. Thank you.